Hi, my name is Brie. I'm known as the Bookish Brie on Instagram and Twitter and Jasper and Spice on Goodreads. And then it's also named my blog, which as always will be linked down below. It's 2021. This is actually the 1st of January I'm filming this because it is my December wrap up, my January TBR, which I did say I wasn't going to do, but I am actually going to do because Christmas gifted me a wonderful book that I need to show off and read ASAP and also my Goodreads goal because it's January and we need to set this Goodreads goal. Also, I don't know if as of the 1st of Jan if Goodreads actually reset their goal because I've been looking at it and this is all I see, which is actually really encouraging because I did complete my Goodreads goal for last year. I read 30 something books, I think it was like 35 books out of 30, so 116% I think it says. I'm so proud of myself. So for next year, or this year, oh my god, for 2021 I'm thinking of setting a Goodreads goal of about 30-35 books. Probably the same because it actually seems achievable. We'll obviously see that later on in the video, so let's get into my December wrap up so I can talk about things that happened in December and the books I read. In December, I had all of these books on my TBR. I know it's crazy. I actually thought I was going to get to them all, which really, realistically, I probably could have if I just, you know, sat down and read all of them. If you can hear whirring in the background, it is my computer. It is running. It is beautiful. My baby. Um, <laughs> I built a computer in November, I believe it was. So, and I've been using it a lot more, but that's off topic. So the books I actually did read were Memento by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. It is a novella companion novel to the Illuminate Files series. I also read Helena, which is a novel by my friend, Clara Smith. I have been talking about this constantly. It also showed up in a previous video where I mentioned all the books I read in 2020. So yay, that is up there. It was amazing. And her, she has another book coming out later on this year. So in, fall like America's fall so I believe that is spring I think it's around October so spooky season she's a go gothic horror writer and I just love to see my friends writing and I want to see her grow as a writer so excited so yeah check out her works also check out her Instagram her YouTube her Redbubble her website Claire is on a lot of platforms and I'm so proud of her the other books I had to read was Norse mythology, I just wanted to read a Norse mythology collections. I just didn't get around to it. I'm not mad. It's a book I bought last year and yeah, I, I haven't read any of my Norse mythology books so I thought I'd want to get to it but yet yeah, did not. I wanted to pick up the chapter samplers for the books coming out in 2021 first half from Walker Books because I wanted to see which books I wanted to purchase. So I didn't actually get around to that but that's obviously like I said no biggie because it's just chapter samplers and I thought I'd added on there just in case I finished the books that I had on my TBR, which apparently I didn't. The other book was The Reckless Afterlife of Harriet Stoker by Lauren James. I requested this at the same time I requested The Moment the Witch in the Sea, and I thought I'd get around to this by the end of the year because it was a new release in 2020, but I did not, and I do want to get to it, but maybe I'll leave it for winter, because maybe I'll, I'll feel like a, winter re a spooky reading winter. I just don't feel like a spooky read right now. The other book that I had on my TBR is The Lost Book of the White, which I, oh my God, I'm so happy I am reading. Dude, this book is amazing. It's Shadowhunters. It's perfect. I have no other words for it. Um, the only issue is I get caught in my daydreams when I read it. So I have to keep stopping and like daydreaming about Magnus and um, it's kind of an issue. So, and they're all the books that I read and was supposed to read in December. Obviously, I didn't get to a large chunk of my books, but that's completely fine because I had such a good time in December. Oh, I'm touching the mic. December's come and gone and January. Let's see what January will bring us. Now we're going to move on to my January TBR. Okay, there's a bit of a story behind my January TBR. So basically, I wasn't going to do a Jan TBR because I wasn't going to be able to read any books in Jan. Or I just thought it'd be so unpredictable, like I wasn't sure what was going to happen, obviously with lockdowns and like what I'm going to do, my birthday is next Friday, like literally two days before I go back to work. So January was going to be a little bit unpredictable, so I wasn't going to do a TBR, but then I received a book from my boyfriend's sister for Christmas and we have been talking about this Brandon Sanderson series for so long that she really wants me to read, she reads a lot of high fantasy and like adult fantasy. I'm not sure if that's the genre. I think it's just really high fantasy and she really wants me to read the Brandon Sanderson novels. Let me grab the book. I received The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson, the first Mistborn book. 
I, wow, look how shiny it is. Cause the window is like right up there. Just, oh wow. I am absolutely in awe at this edition of the book. Like <laughs> she got this for me. She got this for me. I feel so special. So this is a beautiful edition. Oh my God. I just opened it like the maps. Ah, it's so pretty. Oh wow, okay, so this is a thick boy. It's actually pretty light considering. Um, it's 700 pages, so not too bad. It's probably about, hey, I have a bow on my head. <laughs> it's probably about the same as like Lady Midnight, just not as heavy. So this is the book that I definitely wanna to get to this month. I wanna finish it, probably might roll over into February. I am obviously a very optimistic, not a very optimistic about finishing this in the month because I'm still reading the Lost Book of the White, even though you can't see that it was the wrong way, it was the wrong way. I take the jackets off them because it's just easy to read that way. So these are the two books that I'm reading in January. That is my January TBR. And that is my December wrap up. I, as for my Goodreads goal, I don't think the Goodreads site has reset, but like I said, I do want to aim for like 30 to 35 books within the year. I think I'm gonna set it at 30, you know, go lower. I'm too much of a high, I'm too much like too optimistic and then I put too much pressure on myself to actually like reach my goals which I never reach because they're too high. So yeah, 30 I think is realistic enough. I will insert a clip of me doing my Goodreads goal. Hey, so I just went to check on my Goodreads TBR shelf so I can, you know, update my blog and the Goodreads thingamajiggy is up and it's purple! How cool is it? It's so pretty. So I'm gonna film myself doing my Goodreads reading goal and I will also share my screen. Um, I'm gonna feel like a simmer. You know like how the Sims YouTubers do it? I'm gonna do that. Sorry, let me open OBS and try to figure out how to record my screen because I've forgotten how to do it. So we are going to set my reading goal. I'm so excited. People I am friends with have already set their reading goals. Oh my god, this is so much fun. Oh, look at all my past reading goals. You can see them on the side. 117% I completed my 2020 reading goal of 30 books. 2019 I only read 27 of 30 books. And 2018 I only read 28 of 40. See, like, I kept my reading goals low. Like, 2016 I was like, yeah, I can read 50 books. Everyone else has got 50. What the frick? I read 42 books in 2016? Okay, I'm sorry. Where is that enthusiasm now? 2017 was apparently 16 books. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, 2018, 27. And then 2019, 27, at least I'm consistent. So I think I'm gonna do a 30. Oh my God, the color is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Let's put it in 30 books, take the challenge. Oh wow. I just love the color, it's so pretty. My good read reading goal is done. I will flick you back to the previous clip where I will save my outro. Thank you so much for watching. And we're back here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next Saturday for another video when I am probably a little bit more energetic. I am very mellowed out right now, you know, camping for about five days. So my social battery is just draining, but it's been an amazing end of 2020 for me and a pretty good start to 2021 if you ask me. But I hope to achieve all of my goals I've set this year and you will see a goal setting video because I love goal setting, I love planning, I love my mood boards. I will be posting that in a couple of weeks I reckon. I haven't filmed it yet but I'm very very stoked because oh my 2021 mood board is looking good. I think my main goal for this year is fitness but anyway we're talking about that video, no no spoilers here. Anyway, I will see you guys in next week's video. Stay happy, stay healthy, have a lovely day, week, month, and year. And please follow your rules and guidelines of your state and or, and or territory. I love you and I will see you next week. Bye.